Hi, Kipsters. Happy Thursday. So we've been talking a lot about activism. And today we are going to continue talking about activists. But our objectives for today will be students will be able to select a change maker they are interested in and want to learn more about. Students will be able to use adjectives to describe their person of choice. So our vocabulary for today is, I know a noun is a person, place, or a thing. I can use a noun when talking about a person, place, or thing. I know an adjective describes a noun. I can use adjectives when describing a person, place, or a thing. I can use nouns and adjectives when talking about my change maker. So let's get started with our language practice. So here I have a sentence. The short man walked away. So if I know that a noun is a person, place, or thing, I know that man would be my noun because a man is a person. And if I know that an adjective is a word that describes a man, my adjective is short. So what kind of man? A short man. And Kips is a lot of times, but not every time, the adjective will come before the noun. So we'll have the describing word comes in front of the word that it's describing. So now it's your turn to practice. Here I have five sentences. As I read them, I want you to say what word is the adjective and what word is the noun. Number one, the friendly dog licked the mail carrier. So once again, an adjective is a describing word. Where is the describing word or adjective in this sentence? The friendly dog licked the mail carrier. Awesome job, Kipsters. You're right. Friendly is describing our noun in the sentence, which is what? Dog. What kind of dog? The friendly dog. So our adjective is describing our noun. Let's try this again. I'm giving my mom red roses for Mother's Day. Okay, where is our adjective? a word that's describing a noun. You got it, Kipsters. Red, red is the describing word in this sentence. And what is red describing? Our noun, roses. Roses are a thing. So what kind of roses? Red roses. Okay, let's look at number three. We ate tasty burgers from that busy restaurant. Ooh, this one is a little bit tricky, Kipsters. I wonder if you notice what's happening in the sentence. So where is our describing word in the sentence? Or our adjective? You got it, Kipsters. Tasty. And what is tasty? Burgers which is a noun. But Kipsters, did you notice that this sentence has another adjective and another noun? Busy restaurant. The place restaurant, which we know is a noun because it's a person, place, or thing. And what kind of restaurant is it? A busy one. Awesome job. Let's look at number four. Little flowers sprouted in the garden. Where is our adjective and our noun? Little flowers. What kind of flowers are they? They are little. So little is our adjective because it describes the flowers. 
And let's look at number five. Those teachers are funny. Hmm, what's the adjective in this sentence? What word is describing the noun in this sentence? I didn't think I could trick you, Kipsters. You're right. Funny is the adjective. And what is funny describing what noun? You got it, teachers. So, Kipsters, like I said, the adjective comes in front of the noun a lot of times, but not always. So that's why you remember the noun is a person, place, or thing, and then the adjective is the word that describes that person, place, or thing. So today, you have a pretty big job, Kipsters. You're going to be able to choose a activist that you want to learn about. So here I have a list of people for you to choose from. And these activists are also known as civil rights leaders. So I'm going to read off the list of people that you can choose to learn about. Susan B. Anthony, Ruby Bridges, Cesar Chavez, Frederick Douglass, Mahatma Gandhi, Helen Keller, Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, Thurgood Marshall, Rosa Parks, Jackie Robinson, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Mother Teresa, Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, Booker T. Washington, Ida B. Wells, and Malcolm X. So Kip says, you have a lot of people to choose from here. So how are you going to learn more about these people? Well, in your assignment, I'm going to link this in your... Um, notes so that you can find this in your assignment. You're going to click on this link and then you're going to scroll all the way down to where it looks just like that page I showed you. Civil Rights Leaders and then you have the list of all the same people that I just read. So I encourage you to look at a few of these people before deciding who you want to choose. So let's look at Susan B. Anthony. So when you click on some of these links, they will have a video that already tells you about the person. So Susan B. Anthony has a short video about her life and what she did. Susan B. Anthony was a woman. If you want to learn about her, I'll let you listen to that video. And then you can see a little bit more about her. So then you can scroll down to the bottom where it says more civil rights leaders. And you can choose someone else. Let's look at a different one. How about we look at Cesar Chavez? Okay, so Cesar Chavez doesn't have a video for his link, but if you need help with reading this Kipsters, you can go all the way to the bottom and you're going to look for this play button right here. So you're going to click the play button and then scroll all the way back to the top. So push play. Scroll back to the top. Biography, Cesar Chavez. Occupation, civil rights leader. Born March 31st, 1927 in Yuma, Arizona. Died April 23rd, 1993 in San Luis, Arizona. Best known for founded the National Farm Workers Association. Biography. Where did... So, Kipsters, you can use that to help follow along. This is an audio recording of everything it says here. So you notice when I click the button and I scrolled up to the top, it was saying exactly as it looks on the screen. So if you need that to help you read it, you have that option. 
And let's look at a few more people. We'll look at Jackie Robinson. So it looks like Jackie Robinson is another one who will have a video if you choose to research him. And then you can still read about the person even if you watch the video. And I hope that you will choose to learn about more than just one person, Kipsters, because there are a lot of inspirational people that you can learn about and learn from. And also, I encourage you to choose somebody that we haven't talked very much about. I know that a lot of you know about Martin Luther King and Ruby Bridges, so I'm looking forward to seeing you pick somebody different to learn about. All right, Kipsters. So now that we've looked at how to use this website to research your activist, your assignment for today is you're going to tell me who you chose to learn about. So all you need to put right here is their name. And then I want you to tell me why you chose this person. And Kipsters, there could be tons of reasons why you choose to learn about the person that you choose. You might choose to learn about an activist because they are a woman or because of what their race is or because of what they were fighting for. There is no wrong answer here. I'm just curious to know what made you interested in this person. Okay, I hope that you all will give a lot of thought into this because this will help you with your assignment for Friday as well. Okay, Kipsters, have a great day.